guys, welcome back to another episode here on Ladies First and another episode of A Bridesmaid's Duties. Today, we are going to do my actual hair and makeup trial. I'm getting my friends to choose the look that they want to see on me. So, do you trust us? I do. So, okay, Jihee's looking away. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> I think, right, as a bride, the right makeup artist is very important and all the more so, the right makeup look is very important. So normally when you book a makeup artist for your wedding day, they will also offer you a makeup trial where you get to try on different looks to see what suits your face and what suits your look for your actual wedding day. So today we're going to do just that and I'm leaving that into the hands of my capable friends. I think that Amanda has a very small face so she's very lucky. I think a lot of hairstyles will suit her, you know. Like you don't have to like frame it as much. Yep, and she already warned us that she doesn't like centre parting. Yeah. So maybe I should give her some centre parting. Because you know, the last <laughs> time when we tried the wedding gown on her, she's like, I don't want anything fluffy. The fluffy oh, yeah, ones suit true. her yeah. the best. So you may so. not know what you actually suit. And we are here to test it out today. Okay, so right. Today we're actually doing Amanda's makeup and hair. But what she doesn't know is that one of it is the prank, which is the last one. So the first two will be the serious one where she will actually use on her wedding day. And then the last one will be something where I'm going to like make it sound so gorgeous and good. And then when she, it's revealed, and we we'll want to capture her reaction. So here next to me, I have Bobby from the makeup room. She's my makeup artist. Hi everyone, I'm Bobby. I've been doing makeup for more than 20 years. I'm very happy for you getting married. I hope to make you look very good on your wedding day. Okay, confirm. confirm, confirm. <laughs> I, I trust you with all my life. But them, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Basically, my friends have chosen looks. I don't know what I'm going to have on my face first. I don't know what hairstyle I'm going to have first. But we're just going to go for it. And then I'm going to only get a chance to look at myself after the whole look is completed. Yeah, so today I'll just start off with um, something a bit more clean. According to their preference, I will be adding hair extensions and make you look good. Okay, so relax and okay, I will no, start. I'm very relaxed. As a makeup artist, I'm sure you like do a lot of looks. So what is the most popular look that's requested for? Most people request for natural look. The natural sometimes can be just, you know, having a bit of eyeliner and glowy skin. <laughs> so Amanda, what is natural for you? For shoots in general, I put a bit of eyeshadow, uh, eyeliner and like uh, depending on whether or not I'm sitting, uh, I go for a little bit of colour on, on my lip. Yeah, I think in general, Amanda doesn't really wear yeah. that much makeup, right? When I come to the office, I literally have nothing on my face. Mm. And that's like the best. So, for wedding makeup, um, because the bride is being seen on a stage, so it doesn't mean that the makeup has to be very heavy because at the same time, she is also meeting and greeting her guests up front in person. So, you really have to find a good balance between looking good from afar and also looking good when up close because if your makeup is too heavy for the stage when you are greeting your guests, it might be a bit intimidating. But you know for me, right, it's like, I'm Indian, so the, the style of makeup and everything is so different. We can't tell the makeup artist we're going for a natural look. They'll just smash the whole thick makeup <laughs> on our face with thick lashes and everything. Yeah, they're not going to give us chance, man. No dewy, natural Culturally, look. I feel because the costume that you wear mm. is also very different from like if you were to wear a western gown. Amanda, are you going to wear the Cheong Sam? Yes, I'm actually wearing oh. a Kwa. Ah, oh. oh, okay. Yeah. A oh, like a tea club. ceremony, yeah, is it? A tea ceremony. Mm. So, what's your hair and makeup gonna be like for that traditional look? I think for Kwa, most people have their hair up because it's a high neck, like the collars until like here. Yeah. Probably an, a, an updo of top. So this is like the first look and it's still going under construction. Basically, I've never seen Amanda with very long hair before. I think she looks amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. I, I don't even know what I look like. I cannot sense what I look like even. Yeah, I'll give you a hint. 
So we're putting some like stars on the side of it. Okay. And it's gonna look amazing. So the first look is done. Are you excited? So I don't really know how it looks like right now with the veil on my head with like long hair, with the hair extensions and the full shebang. So you look good. Go you check it so out. Wow! <laughs> it's a very different different look. Yeah. And the it. veil is kinda cute. Mary like Can we see it without the veil also? Oh. So that we yeah. can even like switching up different clips I think will look so good. I think it looks good without the view. Yeah. I, I vote for this. <laughs> My legs You guys have only seen one look! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I approve this look also. I, I really like um, long hair on brights because they easily make the bright look very feminine and mm -hmm. elegant at the same time. When the makeup is very clean with super long hair, it actually makes her look more vibrant as well. Yeah, so I hope you like this. A long flowy hair, very feminine for wedding day. Yeah. I think, yeah, it looks it's so good. This is, this is you look hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we'll move on to trying something else. So since we're done with the look that I've chosen, the next one will be chosen by Juhi, and the third look will be chosen by the producers. So yeah, have fun, you guys. I'm gonna make a move. Bye bye. Please. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, I wanted her to have an SIA look because I feel like Amanda face can pull off an SIA look. But then I realised it doesn't make sense with a wedding dress like that little mountain with that dress. It just don't make sense. So I decided to like change it up a little bit and get like a messy bun look. Like look very foresty. I don't know, got that vibe. So this is a updo on like half like updo ish yes. kind of thing. Relax updo. Relax updo. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ju? I think this is a very nice look for the church. The other look was so booms that this is just a very like you're such a holy girl. Yeah, I've never seen a guy before kind of look. This is a I never seen a guy before kind of look. But you know Amanda has a really like sharp features, small nose, literally everything that a girl wants. So she literally suits any hairstyle. But I think that this is perfect for the church. So Whoa! gorgeous, yeah. So gorgeous. This is a very... Oh, this is nice. You look I like so the bag. Korean. I look like Anyong Haseyo. Okay, we are putting... We put up the hair, but we try not to have it too tight so that you look like yeah, you almost did it on your own. You look mm. effortless and you don't want to look like you try very hard for your wedding day. Okay, so for the last look, the producers have actually chosen something a little bit more different, which is the half up, half down. So I think now we're going to try the half half and also your makeup is just like your eyes is just going to get a bit more darker. Do you trust the producers? I do. In Titan, we trust. styling the hair right you can just tell that, that it's like a lot of years of experience it's like it's damn amazing eh. i can feel her tying but i don't really know what she's doing do you see the bun it's like how do you even do that she's very beautiful i think uh, this is the way she's gonna be presenting herself for the six so everyone's gonna be so lost forward Aww. yeah yeah thank you for your comment this is mad! Oh my god, this is like theatre makeup! This is not a theatre dude. I look like. I was like, this looks like. Like, my head, my head, my head feels exceptionally heavy. This is a great Halloween look. I'm so disappointed what, her reaction wasn't bigger. Because I was trying to not laugh my ass off. Really? Yeah, especially when. You expected he, me to have a bigger reaction than he, this? He, he came in and he was like, oh, everybody will be speechless. Then it's like literally. You know what look this is? Remember when we bought the tapau? Tabao? Tapau. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Wait, tabao. sorry. Producers, can you Photoshop my face onto the tapau gown? So we've come to the end of the video. And yes, I still look like this. So, what do you think your favourite look is? I, I quite like the long hair. But I also quite like the up to. And this is pretty cool. 
I still like the one where your hair was down. I really, really like that. The yeah. long one? I think you can go both days with that hair. I feel like I want my hair in like a, a bit of an updo with the veil. She wanna be in like a K drama. Actually Amanda, she's very versatile. She can carry off like most most looks, whether is it neat, let down, uh, updo. So I'm very glad to have a pretty bright like Amanda and easy to work with. Thank you so much for joining us today. So Thank we've you. come to the end of the video. Do let us know which is your favourite look, including this one. Because, I mean, if this is your favourite look, I guess I don't blame you. Make sure you guys subscribe and watch our previous video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!